uh, well, just stop oil were carrying out there through their raid of terror, some might say, uh, this time over innocent theatergoers at Les Mis. Another group of activists were waging their own war in the capital, taking on the mayor's low emissions scheme. Uh, the balaclava clad, self titled Blade Runners are destroying London's ULES cameras. That's the ultra low emission zone cameras, with hundreds having been cut down, smashed, and vandalized. While three arrests have been made and one person charged, the vigilantes say that support is growing for their campaign. Well, I'm delighted to say that Captain Gatso, uh, who is the, uh, uh, the campaign director for the Blade Runners, joins us on the phone now because he wants to maintain uh, his anonymity. Uh, good afternoon to you, Captain Gatso. Afternoon, Julia. It was a lovely um, interview with the Just Stop Oil, but what, we, we didn't preface it or end with the fact that anything that Just Stop Oil do in terms of criminal damage or obstruction of anybody um, is against the law and to stop it. Because every time I go on the radio and the media, people are very firm to say that what we're doing is against the law, illegal, etc., etc., and stop it. But Yet when the Just Stop Oil lot, or who and who, uh, Insulate Britain, all that lot, no one's ever held to account a book to book like that. Yeah. I mean, there are lots of people saying, you know, there are different rules for different organisations. I mean, we've had even like, judges, you know, praising Just Stop Oil in court, for goodness sake. We've got, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Pope even praising uh, some of these activists, and yet a lot of criticism of you and people facing criminal charges. Now, look, it is a simple matter of fact. Uh, the uh, smashing, taking down, stealing, defacing, throwing paint on whatever, um, you know, council property or, or London Authority property is a criminal act. We don't endorse that. I, most people don't endorse that, although they might, we've seen online, might, people might have been congratulating a lot of you. you have, everyone would have seen those messages, lots of people saying, yeah, go on uh, doing that. Um, but it is a criminal act. Um, why do you think that is justified? I mean, we can all protest this policy if we don't like it. Why is it justified, do you think, to actually go through to the extreme of criminal action? People have been lied to by Mayor Khan, and he used all the um, <clears throat> petitions and all of the uh, correspondence that was sent in and, and um, ignored it, chose to ignore it, railroaded it through. Um, I highlighted local democracy service, the fact that in North West London in Harrow, nearly a 1,000 uh, tickets have been wrongly issued because it's a suburb of, of London. And, um, but, you know, the cameras should be turned off in these far-reaching outer areas. But, I mean, you know, going back to what you're saying, it's very interesting that, that, that the, the, the gentleman that's been uh, raided yesterday, and we all know who his name is, Mr... Uh, Lawrence Fox, yeah. Yeah, the, fo the Fox. Yeah, just, to, just to clarify for people who don't know the news, yeah, that yes... I no, no, just, I'm just going to tell the story. Obviously, the day before yesterday, uh, Lawrence Fox uh, put out a video... Um, so you know, yesterday morning, put out a video of, uh, of uh, the police raiding his home, uh, and uh, he has been arrested on, under charges sort of conspiracy for, you know, basic criminal damage of these cameras because he has gone on camera on social media urging people, you know, go to B&Q, get yourself a, uh, a tool and, uh, and go and take down these cameras. That is what he said in public. Do you think, do you think he should have been arrested or not? Well, this is, the, this is the whole thing. It's a stretch to go for, cons for all these charges. I'm going to sit back with the popcorn and watch the police and the CPS try and drag him into court. It's a stretch to push these, these and they're quite serious charges. So we'll leave that there and park that. Um, you know, you've got a lot of, um, you know, knife crime going on in London. Other stuff, police should be concentrating on other matters. But anyway, um, you've got uh, Chris Packham of the BBC was morning, noon and night, left, right and centre on all the media about his time to now break the law the other week. Um, well, he got, had a Channel 4 yeah. documentary. Uh, it was Chris Packham, is it time to break the law? And he was saying that, you know, that he claims that it's, may be the ethically responsible thing to do, um, likening the eco-activists to the suffragettes. I'm pretty sure eco-activists have votes and suffragettes didn't have votes, which is why they resorted to breaking the law. But you're saying, is it one rule for one and one rule for another? Yes. I mean, and then we go to the MP, ex-Scots Guardsman, Ian Duncan Smith. Now, is he up for the high jump because, or a police raid? Because he was supporting us and our actions, more or less. There's, there's actual quotes out there. Now, it, it, at what point? I mean... Praise as part of law, OK? So if this, this, is, this is true and concise and correct, because I've checked and double-checked, if we praise someone for breaking the law 
therefore law. This is not a crime. So if I say, for instance, we salute all of our balaclava blade runners and the good work they do, um, you know, doing uh, unpaid voluntary work for the community, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, move, removing the unwanted street furniture and the spine tools away by force. That's uh, fine and dandy. But then, if we incite somebody to break in law, it's a crime. Yeah. So I'm not going to go there, but if you tell people to do stuff, to go to B&Q to Wix, to go and do this, to go and do that, then we're going on dangerous turf. Which that, that is breaking the law. But this is the thing. Out. There'll be a lot of people who do support you. And again, I've seen those messages online. Um, but they will say, yeah, I was with you. But they... But they... They also, there are also a lot of people who would say, and, and, you know, I am among them, I understand the urge, I do get it, but there are lots of laws that I, you know, don't like. I, I think we should campaign to change laws. We saw that Uxbridge by-election where many believe that, you know, Labour would have won it if it hadn't been for the ULES scheme. A lot of people, you know, standing, you know, Howard Cox was standing against Sadiq Khan, the next mayoral election about ULES. Um, it's now being debated. We're now getting, you know, uh, you know the government taking action. Isn't it better to do this through the democratic channels that, you know, by the way, Chris Packham, who they weren't available to people like the suffragettes. Um, we've got that. You've got a vote. I've got a vote. You know, the, the, the people supporting you, Les, have got a vote. Let's put it to a vote. But the government lie and they don't listen. And this government and others have created and waged a war on the motorists. Now, Rishi Sunak and the government said they're going to change and track back and be for the motorists. I don't buy it. I think it's all chat. Uh, the actions speak louder than words. I don't think for one minute. What you might get is one, one singular parking app, if you're lucky, out of it. But this whole thing of councils and the government using the motorists as a cash cow ain't never going to... Look at the petrol price out there at the moment. They could easily do that. They could nail that. They could change it. But they okay. choose not to. All right. Yeah, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much, Captain Gatze. He's campaign director of the Blade Runners Group. They're responsible for uh, those, uh, the damage and the destruction of a lot of uh, a whole hundreds of uh, those ULES cameras, ultra-low emission zone cameras around the capital city.